everyone. Welcome back to Medicine for the Soul. My name is Alexis and this is Four Seasons Flow. Today's class is all inspired by getting in your car, rolling down your windows, and enjoying a breezy ride. Let's get started. So getting started today, we are going to be on our sitting on our heels with our knees together. We're just going to start by opening up the shoulders. So today's theme, since we're going a little bit more easygoing, chill, laid back, it's all about like finding your vibes. We're going to think about really opening up the body, the shoulders, the hips, the chest, just allowing all the excitement and fun to kind of enter in our body by being really open to new experiences. So we're going to start by opening up our shoulders, bringing your hands up towards the tops of your shoulder blades. We're just going to start to draw some circles with our elbows, rolling them all the way forward, up and around and back. Good. We can take this motion a little slower. That way we're really getting a full range of motion within the shoulders. The fingertips don't have to be touching towards the shoulders. If you don't want that range, you can kind of let them fall away and just keep the elbows bent just so that we're painting with the elbows. Good. Switch your direction. Go up and around the other way. Good. One more breath and let that go. Arms come down to your side. From here, right hand will come down to the mat. Left hand's going to reach all the way up and over. Big, long side stretch. You can try to push the left hip out a little bit as well. Good. Bringing that back up through center. We'll switch sides. Big, long side stretch. Good. Repeat one more time each side. Try to keep the heart pointing forward so we don't want to twist. We want to keep open so that we're stretching out the side of the body here. Good. One more time over to the other side. Inhale. Bring that back up through center and arms can come down to your side. Taking the right arm up overhead and then bending at the elbow. So now the elbow's pointing up towards the sky. Left hand's gonna come up and around and grab onto your elbow, helping to open up just the chest and the fronts of the shoulders. Try to press the back of your skull into your forearm. So that'll be your right forearm. And that's just gonna help just open up the neck a little extra as well. You'll notice like a, almost like an instantaneous change in the stretch as soon as you start to press the head back. Good, we'll take one more deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Let both hands come down to your side. Good, let's do the same thing with the other side. We'll sweep the left arm up, bending at the elbow, bringing it behind your head, and then right arm will come up and around, grabbing onto the left elbow, pressing the head into the left forearm, the back of the head, I should specify. Good. Try to open up the fronts of your shoulders, opening up the front of your chest. We'll take one more deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And reaching the arms back up, let them come down to your side. Let's walk it forward into tabletop. I'm going to turn to the side now. So it's easier to see my positioning. Good. Fingertips are spread wide. Let's just start by taking a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Moving through cow and cat. Inhale, cow. Big arch. And exhale, cat. Big curve. Good. Again, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Good. One more full breath. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. 
Good. Bring it back to a neutral spine. Inhale, twist and lift the right arm up. On your exhale, we'll thread the needle, drawing the whole outside of the right arm to the mat, as well as the right side of the head. Now from here, we're going to take the left hand, reach it all the way up, and bring it behind your back. So I have the back of my hand instead of my palm. I've kind of twisted my arm so that the back of my hand can rest on my lower back. And then take the left shoulder and just roll it open just a little bit further. Let's take two deep breaths here in our thread the needle. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Good. We'll gently take the left hand back down to the mat, pressing up through the left palm, bringing the right arm back up as well. Good. We'll switch our sides, sweeping left arm up towards the sky, and then twisting it down to place down onto the mat, whole outside of your left arm, as well as the left side of your head. Then we will take the right arm, reach it up, Twist the arm so that you can put the back of the right hand right at the lower back. And then we'll take the right shoulder and roll it back as well. Let's take two more deep breaths here in our thread the needle. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently lifting your right arm back up towards the sky. Place it down on the mat. Then we can push through the right palm so the left hand will come down back into tabletop. Good. We'll run through our cow and cat again. Inhale, cow, arch. And exhale, cat, curve. Again, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Last one. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Good. Bring it back to a neutral spine. Let's start to fire up the core a little bit. We're going to tuck the toes and hover the knees. I'm about three to five inches off of the mat. From here, I'm going to step out to plank. One, two and then step back into bear crawl, one and two. Good, now switch your leg, left leg will start out and out, in and in. Slow and controlled, right, out, out, right, in, in. Switch to the left. You'll notice that the level of my hips and my spine doesn't change at all between the bear crawl and the plank, that's the goal just so that we can keep the core under fire the whole time. That's where the movement is held still and controlled. Left, out, out. One more each side. Right one starts. Last one, left one starts. Back into bear crawl. Hold here for two deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Good. Immediately from our bear crawl, we'll push up into downward facing dog. Start to pedal through your feet, reaching one heel down and then the other. Good. Let that pedaling pick up just a little bit. Try to tap the heels all the way down to the mat. Getting a big, long stretch across the backs of the legs. Good. And let that go. Heels reach back down towards the mat. From here, we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. So we're going to go towards the back of our mat, bending your knees slightly. We'll hold here in standing forward fold at the back of our mat for a breath. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale, come up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release over. Good, do that again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Good, bending your knee slightly, roll up to standing. Arms will come with you. And then palms can come together at heart center. We'll take a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms back up overhead. Exhale, we'll dive back down into standing forward fold. Bending your knee slightly, walk it back out to plank. We'll take a vinyasa flow here, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Good, now we'll do the reverse. Start with your pedaling first. And you can pick up speed or slow down. Vary your pedaling just depending on how you're feeling in any given moment. If you want something a little bit more speedy or if you really want to try to push those heels down in a slower motion, let the pedaling be yours. Good, let that come to a still. This time we'll walk the feet towards the hands come to a standing forward fold, holding here for a breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release. Good, repeat, inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Good, bending your knee slightly, roll all the way up to standing, arms come up overhead. Exhale, palms come together, bring them down to heart center. We'll take a deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, sweeping those arms back up overhead. Exhale, we'll dive down into standing forward fold. Bend your knees so you can plant your hands, walk it out to downward facing dog. We'll come forward to plank and take another flow. Keeping the elbows tight into the side for your chaturanga keeping the hips lifted if you decide to do upward facing dog. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog and we'll all resume our pedaling. So here in our pedaling, I'll just let you know what to expect next. So we're gonna repeat that little sun salutation each time. So the reverse one walking backwards and the forward one walking towards the front of your mat. We're just gonna go a little bit faster. Not too fast, we're not gonna rush through. We wanna make sure we complete every movement. But just now that you know what to expect, we can move a little bit quicker through the movement. Good, let your pedaling come to a still. Take those hands, walk them back towards the feet. You can bend the knees slightly. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, come up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release. Good, repeat, inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Bend your knee slightly, inhale, roll it up to standing, arms come with you. Exhale, palms come together at heart center. We'll take another deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms up overhead. Exhale, we'll dive back down to standing forward fold. Bend your knees a little bit so you can walk the hands all the way out to plank. And we'll take a flow, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Baby cobra or up dog. Send it back to downward facing dog. Good, resume your paddling again. Good, the calves and the backs of the legs should feel a little bit more worked out than they were when we were first doing our paddling. Now that we've incorporated more movement into our practice and we've started to warm up, we can try to push our stretching limitations a little bit further. Good, let that come to a still. This time walk the feet in towards the hands at the top of your mat. Again, you can bend the knee slightly in the standing forward fold if you'd like. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release. Good, do that again. Inhale, flat back. 
exhale, release. Good, bending the knee slightly, inhale, roll all the way up to standing, arms come with you. Exhale, palms can come together at heart center. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, sweeping the arms back up overhead. Exhale, we'll dive back down into standing forward fold, bending your knees so you can plant your hands, walk it out to downward facing dog, but right away we'll come to plank and we'll take our flow, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, baby cobra, or upward facing dog. Send it back, downward facing dog. And then from here, you can drop your knees and sit back into child's pose. We're only gonna take three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Coming back forward through tabletop, let's press it up into pull, uh, downward facing dog. Good, right away from here, we're gonna lift the right foot up off the mat, three-legged dog. Sweep, it's a step in between the hands, drop your left knee down, untuck the left toes, we'll come to a low lunge. And then hands will both come to your front knee. Good, sitting up tall here in our low lunge, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, arms come back down to your side. Do that again, inhale, lift. And exhale, arms down at your side. Good, from here, I'm gonna walk towards my front foot, one hand either side. Left hand's gonna stay on the mat, right hand's gonna twist up for a little twist. And then from here, my right hand is gonna come to the inside of my right knee and start to kind of push it open. You're gonna roll onto the outside of your right knee and help open up those hips. You can sink the left hip a little bit deeper forward just so we get maximum stretch here. And then as you press, try to kind of twist and look up over the right shoulder. So I'm looking on a diagonal. I'm not trying to twist and look behind me. I'm looking up towards that diagonal. Good, take one more deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good, bringing that right foot back to flat. Right hand will come to the outside of the right foot. We'll shift our weight backwards in towards a runner stretch, lifting the front toes. Good, now here in our runner stretch, I wanna take the front half of my body and try to kind of melt it over the lower half. We're gonna follow our breath here. Inhale, you'll undulate the spine up. And then exhale, we'll kind of wave it back down over. Tenting the hands, inhale, pressing up through the fingertips. Exhale, wave back over. Good, again, inhale, press and roll up. Exhale, wave over the front leg. Good, one more time, inhale, press, roll up. And exhale, wave it over. Good, walk it back forward into your low lunge. Tuck your toes, lift your back knee. We'll come up into a high lunge. Good, keeping the hips square. So I have both my hips pointing towards the front part of my mat. We're not open just yet. Arms are reaching up to the sky. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, stay in low lunge. Inhale, open it out to cactus. So I'm just gonna twist so that you can see my arms, my elbows are gonna line up with my shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, shoot those arms back up. Inhale, pull it open to cactus. Exhale, arms reach up. This time, inhale cactus, stay here. Exhale, pull the elbows back, open up the, s the chest a little bit. Good, inhale, pull back to vertical. 
exhale stretch. So as you can see, it's a very small stretch. Inhale back up to vertical. Exhale, pull the elbows back. Inhale back. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Good, holding here in warrior two, resisting against something heavy pressing up, you wanna press it back down. So if it's like some growing brick wall or if it's like a flood of water pressing up, you wanna push your arms down and resist against it. Inhale here and exhale. We're really gonna get settled here in warrior two. Feeling the length being created in the front knee. I'm kind of, if you notice, I'm like pulsing a little bit just to help try to get the stretch a little bit further across my front leg. Feeling the hips opening here. Take your hands, close them into palms, into, <laughs> into palms. Close your palms into fists. <laughs> close your palms into fists. Now you're going to take your fists and try to push your knuckles together behind your back. So I'm just gonna turn around for a second so you can see what it looks like. I'm kind of pressing my knuckles just right into each other to help open up the chest and keep the shoulder blades reaching towards one another. So as you'll notice, as I keep pressing, my elbows keep opening back. That's what you want. You wanna have that big stretch across the front of the body as the energy is pressing towards each other on the back side of your body. We'll hold here for another breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good, nice strong warriors. So quick transition here. We're gonna keep the front toes pointing towards the front. We're gonna keep the front knee bent. We're gonna take the back toes, point them towards the back and then bend to the back knee. Arms will reach open into goddess pose. Good, if you need to make any adjustments, you can. Watch your footing, just make sure you're comfortable and settled and your knees are tracking right over your toes. We don't want them to drop in. We wanna keep them pressing open. Good, inhale, bring it to a W shape. So I've flipped my palms to face towards the sky and then bent my elbows in towards my side. Exhale, we're gonna explode out and make a big X into a starfish. Good, inhale, come back down into goddess with your W shape. Exhale, big reach into starfish. Good, again, inhale, goddess. Exhale, starfish. Good, two more times just like that. Inhale, big deep breath, reaching the elbows in towards your side. Exhale, big reach as long as you can, creating space in the shoulders, in the hips, in the belly. One more time, inhale, big drop. Exhale, explode out the bottoms of the feet, big reach. Good, At, as we go over towards the right side, we're gonna drop the arms down, coming into a side lunge. And then quick little pivot to square off the hips. Send the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, or up dog. And we'll send it back into downward facing dog. Let's take one deep breath here in between sides. Inhale. And exhale. Sweeping the left leg all the way up overhead. We'll step it in between the hands. Right knee drops down, untuck the right toes. Both hands come up to the left knee, low lunge. Good, settling in here, spreading your toes wide. Finding the space in your knee to help you balance. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms up overhead here. Exhale, bring it down to your side. Good, again, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, arms down to your side. Good, last time, inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, arms down to your side. Good, from here, we're gonna bring both hands down to either side of the front foot. Right hand's gonna stay down this time, left hand's gonna twist up. Good, and then from here, we're gonna take the left hand, 
bring it to the inside of the left knee and use it to help press open the left knee. We're gonna roll onto the outside of our left foot. And then while I'm doing this, I'm also going to start to drop my hips down as well. So I'm really getting a big, intense stretch across the whole midsection. Opening, stretching, lengthening. Good. We'll hold here for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale good let that go rolling back onto the bottom of the left foot left hand can, can come down on the outside of it we'll move our weight back into runner stretch so i'm pressing my hips back straightening my front leg good holding here for a breath inhale and exhale Good, now following our breath, inhale, we'll lift up the spine, and then exhale, we'll melt over. Good, tent the hands so you're on the fingertips, inhale, lift, and exhale, melt. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, melt. One more time, inhale, lift, and exhale, melt over. Good, from here, walk it back forward into your low lunge. From here, we'll tuck the toes, lift the back knee, and arms will sweep up into a high lunge. Good, holding here for a breath, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Open it up into your cactus. Exhale. We'll reach back up overhead. Good. Again. Inhale. Open it up into cactus. <coughs> exhale. Big reach. Two more times like that. Inhale. Cactus. Exhale. Big reach. Last one, inhale, open it up to cactus. This time on your exhale, press the elbows back, opening up the chest. Good, inhale, bring it back to vertical. Exhale, press the elbows back. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, press the elbows back. Good, one more time, inhale, vertical. Exhale, press elbows back, opening up the chest. And then we'll open back up into our warrior two. Good. Holding here, settling in, feeling the hips opening up, reaching the fingertips away from each other, building up the strength in our hips, in our shoulders, in the bottoms of your feet. I love the power of warrior two. We'll take a deep breath here, resisting against a weight that's pressing up on our palms. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Taking those palms, close them up into fists. And then press the knuckles of the fists in towards each other behind your back. Opening up the chest, allowing the elbows to keep pulling apart. We'll take two deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath. Inhale, and exhale. Good, from here we'll reach the arms back out. Then take the back foot, move those toes open. So we're here in our goddess. Inhale, bring the, in the in towards the side, flipping the palms up like you're carrying a tray. Exhale, big reach into starfish, arms and legs are long. Inhale, bend it back down into your goddess. Exhale, big reach. Uh, again, inhale, goddess. Exhale, starfish. Good, one more time, inhale, goddess. 
and exhale, starfish. Good, from here, I'm gonna take my hands down at the same time as I drop over towards the left leg, side lunge, and then squaring it off towards the top of your mat. Step it back into downward facing dog. Good, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, or up dog. Send it back to downward facing dog. Good, from here, pedal through the feet. Reaching one heel down and then the other. Good, let that pedaling come to a still. Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, bending your knees slightly once you get back there in your standing forward fold. Then you can straighten up if you feel comfortable in that stretch. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, come up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release. Good, repeat that. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, rolling all the way up to standing. Arms come with you. Exhale, palms come together at heart center. We'll take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweeping the arms back up overhead. Exhale, we'll dive back down into standing forward fold, bending your knees, plant your hands. We'll come all the way to plank. Take another flow, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. Pedaling through the feet once again. Last time we will do this pedal. Good, let that come to a still. This time walk the feet in towards the hands, standing forward fold. Holding here for a breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming up halfway, make a flat back. Exhale, release. Repeat, inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, roll it up to standing. Arms come with you. Exhale, palms come together at heart center. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms back up overhead. Exhale, diving down to standing forward fold. Bend your knees so you can plant your hands. Walk it out to downward facing dog. And we will take our last vinyasa flow of the day. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. And back to downward facing dog. Good, from here, drop your knees, sit back, child's pose. We'll only take three deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Good, from here, come back forward into tabletop. Tuck the toes, send the knees up and back, downward facing dog. We'll walk all the way into standing forward fold but this time we'll bend our knees all the way down, lifting the heels, gently drop the weight back onto the mat, feet come flat. So we're going to move into a slight back bend practice. We're going to do wheel pose. If you don't feel comfortable doing wheel pose, I invite you to do bridge, or if you have a block, you can do supported bridge with the block underneath your hips, but try to elevate your hips in some way, or you could do legs up the wall, or you could just um, keep your legs just straight up, but just find a way to elevate yourself just a little bit. If you wanna slide a block underneath your hips and then candlestick your legs up, you can do that as well. Or 
of course, you can follow me in our wheel pose. So we'll all start lying on our backs here. Feet are flat with the knees pointing up towards the sky. They are parallel and they're about hip width apart. So now that we have the feet situated, let's get the arms going. We'll bring the arms up towards the ears. Fingertips are gonna point towards the shoulders. So the open part of my wrist is going to point up overhead. Good, pressing through the bottoms of the feet and the hands will gently start to lift up the hips, followed by the belly, so that everything is up off the mat, including the top of your head. Let's take a few deep breaths here. You can play around with this pose if you're more experienced. You can kick one leg up, you can cross your legs, you can straighten out your knees. We'll take two deep breaths here in our wheel. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Good, in order to come out of this, let's tuck our chins to our chest first and then we can slowly wave back down. Good, from here, heel toe your feet towards the edges of your mat, drop your knees together and just start to gently rock side to side, creating windshield wiper shape. We're gonna multitask a little bit. As we're doing the windshield wipers kind of mindlessly with our knees, take your arm up and then fold your fingertips in towards the inside of your wrist. And then we'll take the other hand and just kind of gently help press it in that direction, just to reverse the shape that we made in our wheel. Good, and then you can switch sides, folding the fingertips back towards the inside of the wrist, and then using the other hand to help press it a little bit deeper. Good, and you can let that go, just shake the wrists out, and let them gently slide down to your side. Good, windshield wipers can finally come to a still. We'll heel toe the feet towards each other. Hug the knees in towards the chest, grabbing onto the outsides of the feet. Open it up to happy baby. If you wanna rock side to side, you can, or you can bring the happy baby to a still. Just one final gentle hip opener here, just to help relax the body. You can close your eyes here in our happy baby. We'll take three full breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, just gently hug the knees back in towards the chest together. And then we can slowly expand the legs straight out, flat onto your mat. Arms come to your side with the palms facing up. Let the back of your skull feel heavy down into the mat, releasing any tension you might be holding between your eyes. Letting the shoulder blades press open and we'll stay here for a few moments in Shavasana.
Begin to bring some awareness back into your body by wiggling your fingers and toes. Slowly expand that awareness into your ankles and wrists. Expand it even further into your elbows and knees. And finally up into your shoulders, hips and neck. Good, let that movement lead you to hugging your knees in towards your chest. We'll slowly start to rock and roll forward and back until you have the momentum to come sit on your sits bones. Once you're seated, keep your eyes closed, come to an easy seat. Palms will rest on top of our knees. Let's take one more deep breath all together. Inhale. And exhale. Gently blink open your eyes coming back into your space. I hope that sequence felt really just easy, light, luscious. We got a little bit of stretch. We got a little bit of core. We got some strength. So it was just a way to kind of feel good in our own bodies, giving me those sa that same energy that like a nice car ride with the wind blowing in your hair gives. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I hope you stay healthy, stay safe, and stay kind to yourself. Namaste. Bye.